Good day, everyone. This is Adam for realhomerecording.com. I want to get to the bottom of this delivery format fiasco. I just, I just ran a bunch of tests and have come to the conclusion again for sure that the ideal delivery format is 16-bit, 48 kilohertz, lossless, period. That will give you the highest quality that a human ear and most speaker systems, if not all, can reproduce. Mostly, humans can't hear more than what's allowed. And um, let's get to the bottom of it right now. So what you're going to need for this experiment, and I will show you uh, like three or four different songs, but you can do this yourself. You're going to need Reaper. Reaper, you can download and try it out for free. You're also going to need at least a demo, if not a paid copy, of Blue Cat Freak Analyst. And also the free plugin Free G. And then you'll also need some kind of brick wall limiter. And then uh, again, I have a uh, Freak Analyst on. Now, what you're going to want to do before I do anything else. The important feature to change, the important option to change in Freak Analyst, push the precision all the way up to 10. Then press this button that says push. That'll send the precision out so that you can see the very most precise frequency response layout in, in this program. So what I'm going to do and what I've, already, what I've already done is I've run files through RateBrain, which is free. I've down converted them and well down sampled and truncated are the technical words to 16 bit 4800 actually is what this should have been on. I'm sorry, 48,000. I always say 4800. I don't know why that is. 48,000 hertz. Very high quality. And I ran these to these files. Now, I did make FLAC files, but just for the purposes of showing you guys, I'm not BSing you, I will use the full uncompressed WAV files. So first we have, these These are all from um, the hdtracks.com 2013 sampler. And I'm going to grab this file first. And just to show you guys, when I right click, source cop pro properties, this is a 16-bit, 48 kilohertz file. And I'll go to 24-bit. Same, uh, same song, same format. And once I uh, right-click, I'll choose source source properties. 96 kil um, yeah, 96 kilohertz. Now the reason it was created is because this originally came from a FLAC file off of hdtracks.com. So I just converted it to WAVE, and this file is a conversion from the WAVE. Oh, by the way, uh, Rate Brain does not support FLAC, so I had to put it into a WAVE file. So this is a conversion from this. And um, so anyway, what I'm going to do is called a polarity flip test or phase reversal test. And what the idea of that is if I were to take this track, which is this and duplicate it, which I'm going to do right now. Duplicate. I'm going to mute track three and phase, re phase reverse my just duplicated track. As you can see, both of these are 48 kilohertz. Same file name. You can read that for yourself here. What I'm going to do is play it and watch this meter over here. Watch these meters down here. Nothing. There's it's putting out audio just to show you I'm not BSing. These are all going. They're all routed. There are there. This is enabled. These are routed as well to the master output. Master output. Nothing. That's because they are the exact same file. They f they invert perfectly. A polarity test shows you the differences between two files. Oh, I should also show you that on Freak Analyst, which I'll have to actually change one of these options. Oh, you know what? I can actually show that just on the master. I don't need to do that. So I can show you guys on the master. I'll put Free G. I'll select Free G. 
and I've already boosted ozone because I know what I'm going to do coming up very soon to its maximum of negative 20. Free G is at its maximum of 30 decibels on trim. And uh, I'll, I'll even put the fader up to 18, the maximum, just to show you. There is no difference. So here we go again. Make sure that's muted because otherwise it won't be good. And there you go. Nothing. You're seeing nothing at all on Freak Analyst. This thing goes to negative 120 decibels to show you a frequency response. There's nothing. These files are the exact same. So I can get rid of this. And now we have the two different files. Same thing. Again, let me show you just so you know I'm not BSing you. Right click, source properties. Yes. And then you're going to see that this was 16 bit 48 kilohertz versus 24 bit 96 kilohertz. Both these are wave files. And now we're going to see the differences. I'm actually going to lower this back to where it was because it, it will be too high. And you're going to see the difference between these two files right now as they play. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And. That's it. Can you guys see that? 22 kilohertz, which most of us cannot hear. And I'm, I just zoomed in on it here. I'll zoom like this. So at least you can see a little bit if it peaks a little bit. So it's right around negative 80 decibels. <laughs> Inaudible. Now, if I bring it up, I'll bring it up with free G. We're hearing a little bit. If you turn your speaker up, you can you might be able to hear it. But we're hearing mostly noise with a little bit of like twinkling. And now I'm going to put ozone on so we can boost it even more. So turn your volume down if you haven't already. Turn it down, please. And now I'm going to turn it on. So we are boosting that by 56 decibels. <laughs> so 56 decibel boost to hear that. And yeah. Well, guess what? If I were to play this file at that loud you want to you want to hear what it sounds like <laughs> i don't think you do tell you what i'm going to turn this fader all the way down because otherwise this is going to mess this up so again turn your speakers down i don't know what's about to happen <laughs> i'm going to mute I gotta, so the, the idea of this is i want you to see how loud a 56 decibel increase would be for us to hear that with the music playing. By the way, I'm allowed to do this. This is a fair use educational video. So here we go. Now, do you think through all that music, you, you're going to be able to hear the high frequency and noise? No, you're not. Let's try this for a few other songs. So same thing. This is, this is the 24-bit file, so I'm going to drop it right here. 
and I have not played these yet and d did a test, so this is new to me. It'll it'll be interesting to see what happens. Oh wait, I have heard this one. It's it's the third one I haven't heard. So, all right. So again, I have these boosted. I'm gonna keep these boosted, just so we can see. All right, I'm gonna start at the peak of the song, or one of the peaks of the song. Okay, now I'm gonna not boost it at all. All right, <laughs> so that's it. Oh, oh I, I'm sorry. I should have moved this over so you could see it. If you saw the video I did about dither, by the way, the dither that I used was the one in rate brain. The difference is just so minimal. Uh, let me let me again see the difference here. You know what I should have did? Just to keep just to keep this test fair. I hope this doesn't mess anything up. 96 kilohertz. Nah, it doesn't it doesn't make a difference. That's what we're losing, guys. Yeah. <laughs> 96 kilohertz. I'm hearing a bunch of differences. I'm being sarcastic, of course. All right, last song. And I will disable the boosting on the master channel. Oops, I got to censor that. I have some upcoming videos I don't want you know, to know about. Okay, back to, what was it, 24-bit? Okay, good. This song is louder than the other ones were, so we'll see what's going on here. And actually, what I'll do is show you, I haven't showed you, I haven't shown you guys this in a bit. This will show you the difference between the files. Now, by the way, you see how it's flashing like that? I noticed, I, even if I had a similar track, you know what, I, sh I should show you that, just, just to show you that I'm not BSing you. I will copy this, I'm gonna move this down. I'm gonna copy this track. Um, I could just, yeah, copy item, paste item. So that's the same exact file. As you can see by the file name, I'll even do the source properties, OK, 16-bit 48, 16-bit 48. These are the same file. I will mute this one. What I wanted to do was show you that that is a graphical glitch that happens with Freak Analyst. When you have it at such a high precision, it'll flash sometimes like that. So, ready? See? See how it's starting to show the orange? It took a bit, but yeah, even though these files are the exact same, 
it'll it'll eventually just it'll flash just for like a, a brief moment and um you know as we could see going all the way down to the last bit of kilohertz it's still the same file all right now i'm going to put the 2496 back in its place i can delete that and now we can see a difference between these You see our difference is right above the human hearing level or I should say most I guess some people out there can hear 22 kilohertz but again it's at such a low level referring back to the master track which is our difference look at how low that is yeah, you know, it's such a high frequency, which is hard to hear to begin with, and then it's such a low level high frequency that it's it's inaudible. Now when you boost it, again a fifty six decibel increase. We can see thirty six here on the trim boost. And then 20 decibels here on ozone. I mean, shit. I'll, I'll, wait, no, I can't do that because as soon as I take that off, you know, the idea is that I'm limiting this. You guys will just have to trust me that's letting everything through, I guess. Because if I do disable this, how many, how much room do we have? See, we're out of room and it just clipped. So, anyway. This song doesn't have anything in it, really. The other ones had a few high frequency, kind of sounded like aliasing here and there, but nothing to, to write home about. And really, the noise was louder than the high frequencies were just as loud. So, um, and again, when you're playing the song, the song itself is obscuring those really high frequencies. Our ears are more attuned to the mid-range, you know, where the, the telephone portion of the frequency band is. That's why we're able to hear telephone better. You know, our voices are attuned to that range. Anyway, the point of this video is to show you guys that the whole let's put out 24 bit 192 kilohertz or 96 kilohertz files it's just a waste of space it's a marketing gimmick you're not really gaining anything by accessing that 48 kilohertz 16 bit to me is the ideal format and you're not going to convince me otherwise i hope i convinced you to not waste hard drive space, to not, to not waste memory card space, and maybe to get it through to some of these audio engineers out there who do mainstream music that the whole, uh, you, you know, you're, you're going to be wasting our uh, the space. And I, I'm sure there's going to be people out there who are going to convert their files uh, to save some space. But um, there's nothing wrong with 16-bit at all. You know, the difference is noise, at a very, very low level, inaudible level, and a l tiny bit of high-frequency aliasing. That's about it. So this has been Adam for RealHomeRecording.com.